with Gabby O'Sullivan. Gabby, how was that game? Yeah, it was incredible to be back out there. It's been a long time coming. Um, you know, GWS started well, but we were able to run over the top of them, so it was a nice, nice job. You, you played in the semi-final last year with no crowd. How much difference does it make having the fans out there? Oh, we love the Freo fans. They get us up and about. Um, it just creates that atmosphere, and I didn't realise how much we actually missed it, um, but it was a, a deafening sound when um, I think Sabrina and Gemma were kicking goals. So, yeah, it's great to have them on board again. The forwards, they really stole the show. What was it like seeing, seeing Gemma and Sabrina on fire today? Yeah, sometimes I want to get the popcorn out and just watch them do their thing. Um, but the, what's great is that it's their goals come from a great team effort. So, um, yeah, it's a, it's a special combination down there. And Gemma, like, how's, she looks like she's taking the game to another level, if that was even possible, and she definitely showed out there today. Yeah, Gemma's magic. Um, she keeps on proving each and every year, and she's so athletic and, and such a dangerous player that um, teams have to be careful of her, and um, if they do, you know, guard her well, then we've got other girls that will pop up. Sabrina just seems to know where the goals are, no matter where she's facing. She can play blindfolded and still find the goals. We've, um, I've nicknamed her uh, Ron after Ron Weasley from Harry Potter, because she's a wizard, so if that doesn't say anything, nothing will. Speaking of nicknames, did your nickname catch on today, or we still need to work on it? I'm quite, uh, I'm quite impressed with that one. It's uh, Mitz has, has uh, caught on, and I was able to hold a couple, and I think I did a cheeky smirk when I thought I took a, a decent mark, but I'm getting called Mitz quite a lot now, and I'm loving it. <laughs> Um, from memory, I might be wrong, but I think you had a good mark leading up to Michaela Hyde's goal. Is that true? It was a good, good set of play leading up to that goal anyway for me. Yeah, I don't think it was a mark, but I do remember jumping over someone, hurdling someone, handballing the ball, not actually to Michaela. I think it might have been to Sabrina who quickly flung it to, to Michaela. But um, I knew she was going to kick a goal because I could see her have that space and I got excited before she even kicked it, so I'm glad she slotted it. I'm sure you remember your first goal at A4W level. How special is, is a moment like that and getting to see that with Michaela? Oh, just to, to celebrate with, you know, half the team is great. And she's been waiting a long time to play AFL footy and then to kick your first AFLW goal is, is something else. And, yeah, I don't, I don't forget mine. What do you make of her story? Just 10, 10 days to go from not even being on a list and now she's playing footy and kicking goals at AFLW level? Yeah, it's amazing. She's worked so hard, as I mentioned before, um, to get to the spot now. And she hasn't just been given it. She's, she's worked really hard and she fits in well with the team. And um, I can't wait to see her play in the future.